Hello, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Miss Teacher. How are you guys? How is it going? Yeah, with fine. the rain. With the rain. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Okay. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> good evening. Well, guys. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Well, <laughs> welcome to your English class number four. I have a question, guys. Can you hear me very well? Yes, Miss. Okay, thank you. It's because uh, before I turned on my camera, the microphone was not functioning, but now it is. Thank you. Okay, so let's start today with the class number four. We are going to start the section number two. Well, you have already finished the section number two in in the platform. So it's better because you already have an idea about what the topic of today's class will be. And the topic is common health problems and advice. Common health problems and advice. So you are going to learn vocabulary about the health problems. And you're going to learn how to give advice. vocabulary you will listen to a conversation where the new words will be practiced and also where common health problems are mentioned using infinitive complements that will be the grammar structure infinitive complements so this is the activities i have planned for today recalling previous knowledge giving advice to health problems conversation time and wrap up so let's start with the vocabulary of common health problems. We have here a headache, a cough, very common in these days because of the weather, right? A cough, <laughs> right? Or a cold. We also have the flu, right? The flu. Stomachache, a backache. Yeah. Well, when you become 30 years old, you start feeling pain in the back, right? A backache. Sore muscles, insomnia. Well, now it's very common, this problem too, insomnia. <laughs> okay. So how many times have you been sick? Um, I won't say the past year, but the current year how many times have you been sick this year can you give opinions can you participate opinions about the me story? teacher okay Milano, we'll listen to you um uh let me let me see last month i had a strong toothache What did you have? A foot ache. Two cake. Uh huh. Did you go to the dentist? Yes. Um. And the dentist practiced me a a, a surgery. A, a surgery. Oh. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sorry for that. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Thank you for sharing, Milagro. But now you are okay. Yes, now I'm okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody else? Have you been sick this year? Me, teacher. Yes, Virginia? I, I have a, I have a flu sick. I, I have, I have the sh a headache. Headache. Okay. You had a terrible headache. Some people um, suffer of migraine. Okay. Migraine. Mm -hmm. okay. And you? Was it a migraine or just a headache? I a headache. Just a headache. 
Okay. Somebody else? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna. We are talking about being sick. Have you been sick lately? Well, guys, some weeks ago, I was uh, very sick of flu, cold, and cough. And I also had fever and um, body cake, pain in all my muscles. It was terrible. Yeah, one of my classes was canceled because I was very bad. But now I'm so I'm I'm feeling much better. This week I, I'm feeling much better. <laughs> okay. Well, so these are some of the common health problems, but you mentioned others. For example, Milagro mentioned the tooth cake. Other people suffer of ear cake. Ear cake. That is horrible. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, so let's go over the next slide. In this slide, we had a conversation between Mila and Kate. So I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Sandra Elizabeth Rivas, you are going to be Kate. And I need somebody to be Mila. <clears throat> okay, Geraldine, thank you. So you start. Are you all right, Kate? No, not really. I don't feel so good. I have a terrible, terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You shouldn't to be at the gym. There? Yeah, I know. But I need to run for um, an hour every day. Not today, Kate. It's really important, no? It's really important to get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I shall be in bed. Well, yeah. And have you taken anything for your cold? No, I haven't. Why should I take? Well, you know, pay medicine, lots of work. Sometimes it's helpful to drink garlic tea. Just cup, wrap some garlic and boil it for a few minutes, then add lemon Honey, try it. Really works. Mm, yeah. That sounds helpful. The correct pronunciation, teacher. Yes, it's awful. Yuk. Awful. Yuk. That sounds awful. <laughs> okay, thank you okay. so much for your participation, girls. Okay. So, um, in this conversation, what happens to Kate? He's sick. He's sick, yeah, that's right. What does he have? A terrible cold. He has a terrible cold. Very good. Yes. So, Kate has a terrible cold, he doesn't feel so well. Um, what suggestions or what piece of advice does Mila give to him? What is the advice? Well, the first yeah. one is... Mm -hmm. Is Garvin tea? Yes, that is another one. Um, he said to it's helpful to drink some garlic tea. <laughs> garlic tea. Okay, so the, the one of the piece of advice is this: you shouldn't be at the gym. You are sick. 
you shouldn't be at the gym. You should be in bed. Exactly. Should I be should bed. be in bed. Another one is this. It's important or it's really important to get some rest. Right? It's really important to get some rest. Um, so like steak. He, he asks, what should I take? Well, you know, you should take, but it's not here, right? You should take pain medicine, lots of water. And it's helpful to drink garlic tea, chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes, then add lemon and honey. Try it, it really works. Mm -hmm. I believe in this tea. I believe in this. <laughs> I believe in the natural medicine, but um, yeah, so, some people don't like garlic, don't like onions, but they are very good for your health. When especially when you have a cold or a flu. Yeah. <laughs> and my husband is like like Kate. Hey, he says, Jack, that is the the Jack T. <laughs> okay, thank you for your participation. So when we get advice, we can use should or shouldn't. Remember we studied in the previous class the use of should? Should that is the pronunciation. Should and shouldn't in the negative form shouldn't shouldn't so we can use should and shouldn't to give advice but today we are also going to learn another structure and it's this one it's really important to get some rest or it's helpful to drink garlic tea so we use adjective and then we use an infinitive form important to get helpful to drink so that's what we are going to study in this class let's go adjective plus infinitive or noun plus infinitive what should you do for a call what should you do for a call it's important to get some rest it's sometimes helpful to drink garlic tea it's a good idea to take some vitamin C. So important, what is important, adjective or noun? Adjective. Exactly. And then we have the infinitive to get. Uh, we have another adjective here, helpful. And then we have the infinitive to drink. And then we have a good idea. What is a good idea? A noun or is it an adjective? Idea is a noun. Idea is a noun. Idea is a noun. So we can use noun or adjective and then the infinitive form. Remember the infinitive has to and the verb to get, to drink, to take. So look at this health problems. Choose several pieces of good advice for each problem. For example, the problem is a backache. Backache. So what is the best advice? Drink lots of liquids, get some medicine, go to bed and rest, put it under cold water, put a heating pad on it, put some cream on it, a dentist, a doctor, take some pain medicine or take some vitamin C. If you have a backache, what should you do? Take some pain medicine. Take some pain medicine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could work. I will write here the letter I. Okay, what about if you have uh, letter C or you letter C? The rest. Could be also. Okay, we'll see. Let's go over the next one. A bad headache. Letter F. Put a sign for If you have a bad headache. Maybe see a doctor. 
-hmm. Okay, we'll see. Let's go over the, the letter three. A born. What happens if you what should you do if you have a born? A letter born. F. Letter F. F. Letter E. No, letter F. 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 Letter F. A born. Put some cream on out. Put some cream on out it. A born, guys. Letter F. No, letter D. Letter D, exactly. Imagine you are cooking and then you get a born. So it's food, uh, food yeah. and under cold water. Put it under cold water. Okay, what about a cough? Take some vitamin C. Vitamin C. Okay, could be. Okay. Remember that we can choose several pieces of good advice. Could be take some vitamin C. Sure. Yeah, but I uh, uh, I think so is I take some pain medicine. For which banana? For two. Number two, a bad headache, yes. Also. A, so medicine for the pain, right? You cannot oh, somebody said that C go to rest. Go to bed and rest. That could be. Also. Letter I, somebody said that. So a little B. Okay, and for number four, if you have a cough, you can take some vitamin C, but what else? You have a cough. <laughs> Besides taking some vitamin C, what else can you do? Drink lots of liquids. It's important to drink a lot of liquids. Okay, what about if you have fever? If you have fever, letter E, letter D, letter E, letter E, it says, letter B, letter B, okay, maybe, and letter C, okay, uh, yeah, could be letter C, go to bed and rest, but also it's important to see a doctor because if you have fever, there's a problem. And also you should drink a lot of liquid, lots of liquids, because if not, you can get dehydrated. You need to be hydrated. Hydrated, hidratado. And if you have the flu, letter, letter J. Okay. Yeah, okay, get some medicine, drink lots of liquids, take some vitamin see a D. Doctor. H, see a doctor. Yes, that's correct. Okay, what about if you have a sore throat? A sore throat. You can't speak. It's sore. Because you have a sore throat. Get some medicine. Yeah, J. maybe some antibiotics, mm -hmm. some vitamin C. Also, letter C, go to bed and rest. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of suggestions or recommendations, right? And what about if you have a toothache? See a dentist, get some medicine or some pain medicine, right? For a, yeah. for a backache, you can also get some medicine. Get some pain medicine. <laughs> okay, yes. For a backache, guys, you can also put some cream, right? Like a file. You can yeah. put some cream, right? <laughs> or the ones that is that is sold on the buses, the Mary Jane. 
marijuana. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for your participation. So over here, you can see the different uh, vibes for each problem. I know you have other, other pieces of advice. Okay. So I want you to practice, guys. Uh, or let's learn about the grammar structure. The adjective plus infinitive. We have some examples here. It's important to go to bed early. It's helpful to put some eyes on the affected area. It's necessary to take some pills. And it's not good to drink cold water if you have a cough, for example. So if you notice here, we have the adjective important, helpful, necessary, and good. And then... We use the infinitive, to go, to poop, to take, to drink, and the consonant. That is with adjective plus infinitive. Now, noun plus infinitive. Let's see. It's a good idea to drink some tea. It's time to get some rest. It's a good decision to stay home if you have COVID or if you have the flu. It's a high price to pay. I have some homework to do. So in this case, we have a noun, idea, time, decision, price, and homework. And then we have the infinitive, to drink, to get, to stay, to pay, to do. Easy, right? Clear like the orchata or like the water. Or like tamarindo. It's clear. It's tamarindo. It's clear like the water, I hope. <laughs> okay, so let's practice. Here first, we are going to um, identify the adjective that are followed by infinite verbs. So you're going to help me to identify the okay. adjectives, okay? What are you happy to do afterward? Okay, we have happy to do. I am careful to put away my phone before I cross the street. Careful. Careful. Careful to put away, yes. He was relieved to see his sister after so much time passed. Relieved. 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 To see, right? The class will be ready to go on vacation. Ready. Relieved, teacher. Ready. Ready to go. What it's... is relation? Relieved. Sorry, What's the meaning? The meaning what of? Relieved. Relieved. Ah. Like, he was oh, relieved, like, comforted. Relaxed? Kind of relaxed or comforted. Calm, in peace. Comfortable? <laughs> yeah, like, comfortable or um, okay. in peace, right? Okay. Happy. He was relieved to see his sister as so much time, so much time passed. So he had a, he uh, like uh, alleviated, relieved. But relieved with my, my, uh, my soul. You were relieved to see relieved your son. My, my body, my, my soul. Yeah, and your soul, okay. okay. <laughs> relieved, <laughs> aliviado, calmado, comfortado. Yes. Okay, uh, number five. It's hard to break a bad habit. Hard. Break. It's hard. 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 Hard to break. Very nice. So you can identify the adjectives followed, for, followed by an infinite verb. Okay, let's go over the next. 
exercise. Now here you will complete the sentences by dragging the words into the boxes. Well, you were you will tell me what is the, <laughs> the correct infinity form. If you go to bed late, it's difficult to be, to get, to get up, to cheat, or to finish. To get up. To get, to get, get, up. get up, yes. Get up. So if you go to bed late, it's difficult to get up early in the morning. That happens to me. Okay, the friends were clever. The project ahead of time. Now they can go to the beach. To finish? To finish, yes. The friends were clever to finish the project ahead of time. So before the time was expected, ahead of, of time, the project ahead of time. Now they can go to the beach. Okay. My mother says it's a, it's a model on anything. It's better. To be. to be okay. My mother says it is in model to 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 cheat to cheat. Yes. Exactly. For example, to cheat on an exam. That's not correct. It's in model. <laughs> it's better to, to, be. Be. to be to be honest. To be honest. It's immoral to cheat on anything, to cheat on a girlfriend or to cheat on a boyfriend. That's also immoral. It's not correct. It's not good. It's better to be honest, guys. <laughs> Sooner or later, he or she will know. <laughs> okay. Number four. They were happy for you. To get. To get. To get. to get married, exactly. They were happy for you to get married. So we can see the, that they are followed by, oh, they, they had a, an adjective previously, difficult, clever, immoral, and happy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have another exercise, but this is on a website in which you have to choose the correct com complement. Okay. In a moment, you will see it. It's this. In this, you have different options. For example, mm -hmm. a headache, it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. To take um, aspirin. Take an aspirin. Okay. For a headache, it's a good idea to take an aspirin. If you had a bad, it is advisable to go to the dentist immediately. Two day. A tooth kick. Two okay. kick. Tooth kick. Tooth kick. Okay. When you have a back kick, remember not. 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 To leave heavy objects. To leave heavy objects, exactly. To leave heavy objects. When you get the flu, it's important. To stay behind. To stay at the home. To stay at home. It is recommendable to take a cold shower when you have a Fever. Fever. Yes. We have a fever. Mm -hmm. It's important if you get a live born. Always and have a chicken soup. Well, to aquí, this one is to rest, but the, the space is missing to rest and have chicken yes. soup. But that is maybe when you have a flu. But if you get a live born, oh, to put some cream, 
like Kemadin. Do you remember Kemadin? Yes. So you can put something if you get a light bar. If or you break tomato or tomato <laughs> or toothpaste. <laughs> okay, if you break a leg, the best option is if you break a leg. What is the best option? To use, use to use a cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here it is. It should be separate. Uh, a cast. Cast is yes or right to use mm -hmm. a cast. Okay. It's Remember so to avoid a spicy food, or you will have. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, to take some syrup. Mm. Remember to avoid spicy food or you will have... What is the problem you get if you eat a lot of spicy food? A heartburn. A heartburn. Mm -hmm. Heartburn is you feel it here, right? You feel the acids. Harborn. Exactly. The 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 acids of the, the your stomach produces because of the spicy food feels like a born, right? Harborn. Okay, it is mandatory. If you suspect you got the COVID nineteen. To stay at home. To stay at home. Stay home. So number four, when you get the flu, it's important. No flu. Uh, Torres and, and uh, chicken soup. soup. I have chicken soup. Yeah, I believe in the chicken soup, guy. It really helps. <laughs> Especially if it's a hen, right? Okay, number 10. If you have a cup, it's a good idea. To take some syrup. Take some syrup. Take some side up. Side up. Yeah, by the way, I forgot to take the side up today. But is it a good idea to take side up? So if you notice, we are not using shoot, but we are giving pieces of advice. And we are not using shoot. We can use shoot, for example, for a header, you should take an aspirin. If you have a tuca, you should go to the dentist. If when you have a backpack, you shouldn't lift heavy objects. When you get the flu, you should rest and have chicken soup. But over here, we are learning another way, another way to give advice using adjective. It's a good idea. It is advisable. Remember not to. It's important to rest. It is recommendable. It's important. The best option is it's mandatory. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we're going to check. And voila. Congratulations, guys. Where is more? You got a 10. Okay, now let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. Good. So now, guys, we are going to go over a conversation time. Now, I'm going to assign you in a small groups, and you have to create a conversation. And this conversation, you have to say a health problem. For example, you can say, I have a backache. I have insomnia. I have a stomachache. I have diarrhea. I have... Um, a uh, chicken pox, you know, chicken pox, varicella. <laughs> I have chicken pox. I have an allergy. I have a migraine. I have fever. I don't know what to do. And then you, as a good friend, you will say, Oh, you should. And you give an advice. For example, you should see the doctor. You should go to the hospital. You should stay home. You should. Uh, take some tea, etc. And you can say also, it's a good idea to 
it's a good idea to um to put some cream etc and also you can say here for a diarrhea it's important to drink lots of liquids for example so one person in the group will mention the problem the health problem and the others gives recommendations the others give recommendations or suggestions okay so that's what you're going to do. I'm going to send this to the group so you can have it. You can have the, the structure that you are going to follow. I don't know if you have other questions. No? Yes? Maybe? <laughs> no, but before we go, guys, before we go, we go to the groups, I'm going to take the attendance. So please, you can start thinking about the, the health problem that you may mention. Everybody's going to mention, mention a health problem and, and the others will give recommendations, okay? So, but meanwhile, while you think, while your hamsters are working, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Aleida Samira, ah, no, this is not this group. Oh, yes, yes. Aleida Samira Guadalupe? Present. Thank you. <coughs> Ana Beatriz Martinez. Hi, teacher. Andrea Estera Costa? Mm -hmm. Andrea Estera? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Brandon Steven Gomez? Brandon Steven? Present, teacher. Thank you, Brandon. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Efraín. Okay. <laughs> okay, Efraín. Um, Caleb Ariel Rivera. Present. Thank you, Caleb. Geraldine Lizette Villera. Present. Evel Virginia Tovar. Present, Miss. Thank you, Ingrid Maricela Flores. Not present, Ingrid. Irma Adriana Segura. Present. Thank you, Irma. Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia. Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia. Okay, what about Jose Alejandro Vaquerano? Jose Baquerán. ¿Qué hizo José? I'm not sure about Jacqueline Vanessa. Juan David Madrid. Present teacher. Ok. Juan José García. Present. Julio César Alfaro. Julio César. Not present. Kevin Josías. Okay, thank you, Julio. Kevin Josías Flores. Well. I think he wrote in the chat. Kevin said listener. Okay. Juan, um, Lorena de Los Ángeles. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Lorena. Luis Ernesto Cibrián Montoya. Present, teacher. Thank you, Luis. Maria Jose Najarro. Present teacher. Mary Daniela Carranza. Mary Daniela. Okay, Mary. Mm, Milagro de la Paz Jiménez. I'm here. Thank you. Mirna Janet Landos. Nelson Adán Cerón. Patricia Esmeralda García. Present. Sandra Elisa Veracencio. Eh, Ingrid. <ríe> ok, Ingrid Marisela. Eh, Sandra Elisa Veracencio. 
Sandra Elizabeth Corea. Sandra Elizabeth Rivas Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra Lizeth Mosa. Stephanie Abigail Quintanilla Valladares. I'm here. Okay. Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay. Good. So now let's go over. Let's go over the breakout rooms, okay? Let's go to the breakup rooms. Diálogo. Ajá, sí, es, es, para aquí. es una conversación de la... Es como que yo le diga, ah, tengo dolor de cabeza y ustedes me digan, Ajá. ah, te vería yo, yo. píldora. O Ajá. también podrías tomar Ajá. esto. Ajá. Y la otra me dice, también podrías hacer esto. Ajá, sí. No sé. Tengo dolor de cabeza ¿Cuál? y no sé qué hacer. Ajá. Puedes y... tomarte un té verde. Ajá, tomarte un... una en inglés y la otra también es una buena idea que tomes mucha agua porque puede ser que porque no tomas agua te está dando dolor de cabeza. La otra es como por no sé, eh, la, la última, la última cosa está Ajá, la, y, entonces y, 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 nos quedamos con el dolor de cabeza no sé qué quieren podemos darla, hacerlo las cuatro y un problema diferente cada una y dar recomendaciones diferentes cada una I agree with that that's a great idea <ríe> ahí está la teacher nos está observando <ríe> It's a good idea. No sé si la otra compañera también quisiera participar. Sí, sí, lo siento. Un rato se me va la señal y casi no les entiendo. Ok. Ok. I have a headache. I don't know what to do. I don't know. What what more? What more that I uh that I can uh, that I can say to you? Two teacher, I two <laughs> teacher, I okay. Uh, for his, his health cheese, it's important to um, um, eat, eat uh, take the me uh, medicine. Maybe, maybe visit, I, I think so. You visit, you visit the, the doctor. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you want to switch. <laughs> You you tell me if you have a some... okay. I have a I have a diarrhea. I don't know the what uh, you do. 
What do you have? Uh, diarrhea. 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 Okay. Diarrhea. 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 Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> you you should, should go to the to bed do. to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 uh, take take the calm, calm. Take your time. Take your time in the bathroom and take a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, our teacher is there. The teacher yeah. is here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking. I'm just checking the groups. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Stephanie, I have a strong headache. I don't know what to do. What do you recommend me? Me, yo tengo bastante problemas con la internet, se oye bastante la, la interferencia. Okay, you can use the chat. You can practice using the chat with Milagro. If you cannot speak or you cannot listen because of the rain, I know it's having, it's causing a lot of problems, the rain. Over here it's raining. That's why I'm using the headset. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but you can, you can chat with Milagro. Okay, please. Hello, Jose and Nelson. Okay, did you practice with uh, Nelson? Or, or you couldn't. Okay. Well, if you have problems, you can practice just in the chat. Or is, oh, Alejandro, I think you are the one who, uh, who is sick, right? Yeah, teacher. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Well, you can you can practice using the chat if you want, if you prefer. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your effort to connect to the class. Okay, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, and Nelson is working. Okay, no problem then. Can you see my message? Stephanie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, D, it's a, it is important that you stay at home uh, so you recover it quickly? Sí, así quedaría. Okay. Okay, guys, how was the practice? I would like to listen to some examples. I would like to listen to some of your health problems and the good ideas that you have, the good pieces of advice. Volunteers. Sure. Go, Milano. 
I have a strong pain in, in my hands. I don't know what to do. What Anna recommend me? Okay, Milagro, and who was your partner? Stephanie, right? Yes. But she's having, yes. Stephanie, can you give some recommendation to Milagro? She is having some problems mm -hmm. with the connection. Maybe there is raining. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other person would like to give some recommendation to Milagro? Can you repeat your problem, Milagro, so they can remember? Yeah, I told you that I, I feel a strong pain in my hands. A strong pain in the hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you recommend, people? Milagro has a strong pain in the, in the hands. In the waist, maybe. Mm -hmm. You have to put a a cast, no? No, yes, because it's yeah, not a it's not no? a fracture. The visit a visit a clinic or the hospital. Mm -hmm. In a, you see a doctor and. Okay, Virginia says it's a good idea to see the doctor. To see the doctor. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. Or some uh, 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 On to take some x-rays. Okay, Maria Jose? Put some cold cream. To put some mm -hmm. cold cream. Okay, it's a good idea. Guys, uh, try to raise your hand when you want to participate, okay? So we don't hear the confusion, not voices. Thank you. Okay, any other problem, health problem? Juan David has a terrible health problem. But uh, I don't remember my problem, teacher. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, I have a problem. I, 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 I remember one day. <laughs> <laughs> David doesn't remember, but Anna does. Yeah, I just I um, I I have I have the diarrhea. 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 <laughs> Okay, and uh, what I got to do to you? <laughs> do, to, do. What should I do? I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. He has to go to the, to, to the bathroom. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but uh, I said he, 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 he had to drink. Uh, uh, natural sure medicine. Okay. <laughs> he should oh. take. He should take some medicine, like intestomedicine. <laughs> okay. I Only have that. Have so much in paper. And and you should have a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> okay. Very good. Well, guys, we only have three more minutes. I hope that you could practice with your partner and, and had a good time. Well, I I will ask you to do this as an assignment or homework for tomorrow's class. Imagine these situations are true for you. Get three suggestions for each one. So you will do it as homework, okay? You will uh, write a suggestion for each problem. I sometimes feel really stressed. 
I need to study, but I can concentrate. I feel sick before every exam. I forget about half the new words I learn. I get nervous when I speak English to foreigners or in the class. I get really hungry before I go to bed. Okay? So you can see the you can see here the the example for the number one. I sometimes feel really stressed. What should I do? It's a good idea to take a hot bath. Or it's sometimes helpful to go for a walk. Some people says, um, um you could try to um to drink some tea right to drink some tea oh it's a good idea to drink some tea so you will do this as homework okay because we don't have more time in the class to do it is that okay 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 i will send you the picture yes anna eh, quisiera ver si me pueden agregar al grupo. De WhatsApp. No es agregado sí. al grupo de WhatsApp. No. Vale. Eh, pero recibió el correo, Ana. Mm. En el... Bueno, voy a, voy a reportarla. Ok. Para que la agreguen al grupo, porque yo no puedo agregar. Desde okay. el teléfono no se puede agregar al grupo. Yo tuve ese problema. Tuve que entrar a mi computadora y desde mi computadora entrar al grupo en WhatsApp. Podría Por ser WhatsApp eso. Web. Sí. WhatsApp sí. web. Ok, sí. guys. We have one more minute for the wrap-up. <clears throat> ok, today we learned vocabulary for health problems. Can you mention the problems, the health problems? I learned today, teacher, uh, how can I... Hmm. Give a recommendation uh, when other uh, person uh, is in, uh, in problems uh, about the health and and I like because uh, we have a inter interaction interaction you had interaction. interaction with the classmates yeah. okay good who can tell me five health problems i i want to hear you pronounce the problems fever okay milagro fever the flu uh, the flu Okay, headache, cold, cough. Her stomach. Her stomach. Her stomach. Her stomach. Her stomach. Okay, very nice. Good. Remember to practice the vocabulary that will help you to remember. Well, guys, that was the class for this evening. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good mm. night. Have a good and night. do the homework. Bye. Thank do you, the homework. Do the Bye. homework. Send a picture of your homework or send the homework in the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay. okay.